here we are at Good Life Super Thrift. All right, I think we have about an hour and a half. Sunday closes at seven. So we'll see, hi, thank you. <laughs> the color tag sale, um, blue, all clothing with blue tags, 50% off, 50% off of silver, all clothing with silver tags, 25% of off of purple, all clothing with purple tags, 25% off of red non-clothing items and 15% off of all furniture. What is this? Oh. Oh, these are cool. Like sand coasters. $1.99. I like those. They're like Navajo. Cool. Look at that. We already found something right when we walked in. Oh. That is very 80s. Smart. Now, Macasa votive candle holder. Oh, this is really nice. Pottery. Stamped mud pottery. $14, y'all. I don't think so. I don't think so. These are really pretty bulbs. Wow, $7.99 each, really pretty seams, but it doesn't leave me any room for profit, really. Oh, $1.99, it's resin with the little cat. Okay. Ducks Unlimited. And this is $2.99. It's a huge thing. Things that should maybe be priced a little higher are lower than other things. Who am I to talk? Oh, look at this little owl. I have lots of owls. Little doggy in a basket. $10. Oh, he's that, um, something litter, Sally Miller. Oh, look at this. New York postcard pottery. It's not signed or anything. $2.99. Statue of Liberty. Let's take that and see if that's worth anything. I'm not guaranteeing that we'll take it. Wow, look at this piece of glass. What is that? What is that? Like, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I gotta find out what that is for $1.99. Let's just put it in there and we'll find out. It's still here and still broken. Don't know if that's an ashtray. Oh, pretty S. $5.99. I don't like it. <laughs> Tropical pineapple. Some birds. I'm gonna stay away from like porcelain for a while. And stay away from plates also, but let's look at this one. It's melamine. Fooled me. These little dog plates. Trinket, little trinket plates. Two dollars each. Little finger bowls. Rabbit, rabbit jello mold. Twelve dollars made in Italy. No grazie. Decorative balls with some intentional crackle. Oh, this is nice. It's like, kind of reminds me of that um, Dom, D-A-U-M, Nancy Dom. Am I saying that right? You guys, this might be something. It's only $5. It's not resin. It looks like it. It's a nice piece of glass. Let's see if it's ruined, damaged. 
No. It's really pretty. Let's put it in here and we'll look it up. What is this doctor doing? Checking out his own heart. Look at this. Beautiful. $12.99. Seems like they price things high when they're signed. Thomas Edison. Bust. He might have been a coin bank. The Lee County Bank, Fort Myers. They want $12.99 for Thomas Edison. For my mom. How cute. Is this Hall? I don't know. It's lacking a lot of color. Look at this. I think that's a Royal Caribbean cruise sign. I think. Barbados. Porcelain. That's very Portuguese or Italian. Anita. Look at this very tiny bud vase. They want $7.99 for it. Is it sterling silver? <laughs> I'm not paying $7.99 for that. This is a pretty bowl. Wow. Handcrafted in Portugal for Pottery Barn. Yeah, Pottery Barn has nice things. There's just no quality when you look at it after a while and you touch things all the time. Cool. Really worn. Israeli porcelain. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's so many scratches where I pick it up on both. Some hall Irish mugs there. Beatrice Indie Channel. Challenge, sorry. Some days the best thing about my job is that the chair spins. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 99 cents. Wow, look at this. Pioneer Woman? No. Biscuit. Pretty. I have a lot of these aluminum platters. Sometimes they sell, sometimes they don't. By Wilson Specialties. Hand wrought aluminum, Brooklyn, New York. Pretty faceted um, honeycomb kind of dish. Let's see, this is still here. Some new things, a lot of old stuff. Like, I mean, that's still there. Oh, oh look at that Starbucks mug. Two ninety nine. Okay. It's pretty. I had to blow out dust. Oh, look at this pottery. It's got like hollies or something on it. Mill Creek stoneware. Coshocton, Ohio. 99 cents. Maybe if there was two. It's pretty. It's pretty too. Let's make our way around. What's that? Ter terribly terrific treat stand. Oh. Alice in Wonderland. Oh, five ninety nine. I wonder how much that's worth. But like, I don't know if all the pieces are in there. Oh my gosh, look at these milk glass salt and pepper shakers. I want five ninety nine for them. Hold on, let me put my phone down for a second. Oh, I like them. I know they're $5.99, but let's pop them in the cart and we'll see if they're worth more than that. 
I like that they have covers because it kind of like, you know, protects the insides. There's a little crack in the plastic here, but I mean, they're old. We'll see. Let's take them. I think I found like one salt shaker milk glass uh, the other day. And I thought, oh, too bad there isn't another one. So that one has it. So we'll see. Oh, this is like a Japanese vase. $3.99. It's very modern. It's pretty though. Studio pottery plate. I don't really like the colors together. It's signed, but I can't make it out. I'm sure if I did research, I could find out who made that. But it's it's just not my favorite. Oh, this is melamine. Melamine. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Glasses. Little piece of swung glass here. Kind of, or ruffle vase, I don't know. Oh, these remind me of Ninja Turtles or soccer. <laughs> Cute. I know that's $12.99, but I may need that nappy bowl. Yeah. So I was looking this up, this nappy bowl up. $12.99. I mean, they're selling for about 10 bucks on eBay, so we're gonna pass on that. Um, look at this wine bottle. It's like hand painted. It's kind of cool. $3.99. I don't want it, but it's cool that they did that by Audrey. This is still here, and it's still chipped. Um, really beautiful. Kind of worn. Oh, oh, studio pottery. It really, if it looks good to you, it doesn't look good up close, y'all. Look at it. Why is it so stained at the bottom? Oh, I don't know if that can clean that. We have made our way to the metalware. Some Jekyll Lantern cake molds from Wilton, 1995. I don't know. I see people selling Wilton quite a bit, but it doesn't really do much for me. Little teddy bears. Look at this beautiful um, eggplant bowl. Man, 1982. Some molds over here. Oh. oh man, those are quite old. I don't know how well molds sell. I've never actually tried selling them. $2.99 for all of it. They're copper. Copper, copper. Pretty heavy. <clears throat> what about these? Say. Balance. Bilancia. Balance. Bilancia. Balance and. Italian Kister coasters Little fish copper mold five dollars for that Pewter Electric outlet frame Look at this It's lightweight probably made in India. Yep five dollars pretty though Little hook pineapple 99 cents. Look at this bowl. Oh, it's got a big old hole in the center. $2.99, that was nice. Big hole in the center. Oh, I love these trivets. I just bought some though. How much is this one? $1.99. These shoes. $5. Planter. Oh, look. 
Oh, it's hinged. Why is my cart rolling away? Isn't that pretty? Does it close properly? I mean, $4.99. Yeah, I don't know how much I like it. This little crow box. Four dollars. We have some soap and makeup and hairbrushes in this case, reminding us that 25% off of red tags. Is this right, you guys? How is this $2.99? Something's wrong with it. Oh, their heads. Their heads are chopped off. Oh, Cinderella. Oh, too bad. Wow, that was pretty. Oh, this must have fallen. The birds, everything. Too bad. I thought maybe they were just trying to be nice. This little Israeli picture. $10. Oh, I would have picked it up. How beautiful. I don't want to pay $10 for that pretty though hmm. pretty gorgeous some vases this would be cute for my Italian bathroom Delft JK Let's see 99 cents no chips no cracks I like it let's pick that up 99 cents is a good deal on that one. Little blue milk glass here. $14, y'all. Come on. No. Too much. Wow, look at this base. It's pretty. Look at all the colors. Cobalt blue. God, I wanted that little picture, but I'm not gonna pay $14 for it. Wow, look. Oh, it's not metal. This is actually plastic, which is nice because it's lightweight. Magazine rack, maybe? I don't know. What else they got up here? Oh, it's all broken. There's a bunch of these little, um, Light lamp votive holders. I mean, there's a ton of them. Twenty dollars. Wow, this is nice. Frosted Royal Copenhagen Crystal. Two ninety nine. Well, I like Royal Copenhagen, and it's not scratched or broken, so we are going to pick that up. Okay. Oh, I hope I find another one like that. This is really pretty, as well like flashed sprayed on color oh what is this looks like blood oh I don't like it I think I saw that last time oh this is pretty $1.99 totally 80s I don't know if I like the maroon color maybe if it was like a blush I would take that a check check crystal vase for five dollars very mcm i have some check at home all right my favorite part the candle holders are coming up some disarono glasses okay i think that's a guacamole bowl <laughs> these are pretty $5.99 each. Oh, look at this. How much do you want for it? $4.99? It's kind of weird. I like it. Kind of gives off the illusion that realistic. Oh, oh my god, I thought this was a candle holder. It's a kid cube. <laughs> Modern. $7.99. 
flash vase. Oh, look at these. These are nice. Get a whole set of three. $12.99, $7.99, brass pots. I don't know. I don't know if I should get those. They're kind of plain. They're nice though. Somebody should pick those up. This is good. No. And they want $12.99 for it. I don't really want to go down the kid aisle. Let's go on the other side. There's like a hidden um, tchotchkes section. That is that a tie holder or something? Scarf holder? A child? Justin Bieber. This is a lion probably painted on a sand dollar or paper mache on it. Or a sea biscuit. These are cool. They look so realistic. Like chalk pear. Oh, that's pretty. Me and my trivet obsession. One ninety nine. It doesn't look old. <sighs> nah, I'm gonna resist it. Pomanders. I don't know that these sell well. This is 99 cents. I have some. I, I haven't put them up yet. Oh, these are pretty. This is pretty tar. Cherries, oranges, I don't know. Like orange cherries? It's confused. A casa, potpourri in there as well. Oh, aluminum, seven ninety nine. Oh, look at this little owl dish for one ninety nine. Is he missing an ear? No, but he's like weirdly made. One ninety nine. Musical. Beautiful dreamer. Cardinal birds that are definitely not the right color. This is chalkware. I don't know about chalkware. I'm a little nervous about it. What is that? Resin art. Um, there's like jelly beans actual jelly beans in the top of the lid that's weird they're really discolored i am trying to go over to the holiday section but i'm seeing this which would make a really cool decoration in the home really cool right look at look how pretty the detail is so beautiful these are still here Yep, and they're still $40 each. Looking for any um, vintage mid-century modern lamps. This is also still here. And so is this. Which I wanted, but not for $7.99. Okay. This is, believe it or not, the holiday section. It's very um, bare. Very, very bare. Literally. <laughs> it's a pretty wreath. It's missing a lot of flowers. String lights. He's cool. Little Santa tray. Happy Holidays keepsake box frame. Disney. Peppermint bark. Metal. Holla bread mold. I love holla bread. 
Gotta learn how to make it gluten-free. Oh, let's look at this guy here first. Yeah, let's go to the art section. That's a cute little boho chair. Love how it's bolted down here. How much do they want for that? Nothing, it's free. <laughs> I found a really cool, like, rug-like Marc Chagall thing one time here. I haven't tried to sell it yet. Oh my gosh, look at these bears trying to work out. Merrill Waits. It's funny that they would frame this. They were, you know, I grew up with these plants. I forgot what they're called. They were so invasive. <laughs> I don't like those plants and they smell. They smell some awful, in my opinion. Hand painted. All right, let's go ahead and look up these items. And then I will see you at home for the haul. All right, so this is what I got at Good Life Super Thrift. I'm actually quite happy with my finds, incredible finds. So the first thing I wanna show you before I forget, because I just did some research and this was sitting on the shelf, I believe like this. And I don't think they knew at all what this was. So they just slapped $1.99 on it because this place is usually pretty pricey. But in fact, this is a vase. You fill it up with water. It's by a manufacturer from Duran, Germany that's, I think, permanently closed. A glass manufacturer called Peel and Putzler. It's either Peel or Pale, P-E-I-L-L, -L, I think. And it's selling for like over $100 on eBay in Germany. And I think I saw on Cherish for over $100 and another website that I'm not familiar with. But I can't really find much of this on eBay. So we're going to just put it up for about 100 bucks and see where that goes. I got this votive candle holder. It's thick. It's frosted and clear at the top. Just kind of transitions like that. Um, I got it for $2.99 from a really great company that I love. Uh, Royal Copenhagen. Usually I buy their porcelain, but you know, I just love that company. I think they have really great strong items. And then I got these milk glass. What I thought um, were salt and pepper shakers are actually spice jars, you know, because they both look like that. They are in perfect condition. I think they're anchor hawking. There is no sign on it though. Oh, wait. Oh, there might be. It says number five, so I have no idea. Uh, maybe they're part of a larger set. Anyway, they're in perfect condition. It's just that this one has a micro crack. And so anyway, this one is the only thing that I paid up for these two. I paid $5.99 for them in hopes that I could at least ask for $18, $18 or $20 for the both of those. Okay, I don't know if you recall in the beginning of the video, I pulled these out of baskets and I thought they were coasters and they were thrown into the basket as if they were coasters. Um, thankfully, they didn't get ruined, but they're actually sand paintings, Navajo sand paintings. I don't quite know what that says. I could make out the word Navajo 
traditional ceremony. And I don't know what that says down there, but I'm assuming it's the artist. Um, it's not releasing any sand. It's very well made. This one's really cool. I think it's from another artist. This one is very clear what it says. Thunderbird or Navajo religion. Um, with the word thunder being usually translated as God. And then FH. So really cool. I'm hoping to get... I think I got paid $1.99 for both. And I'm hoping to get $20 to $25 for each one. I think they're from the 90s. So they're vintage. Next, I got the Starbucks mug. It's not old, it's 2019, but I really like the robin egg blue color on it because I'm a big Tiffany fan. So I'm just going to put this out on eBay for about $12 and that's it because there's so many of them. Then I got this pretty Delft vase, not Delft blue, but it's from Delft Netherlands, it says it. I got it for 99 cents. The crazing is very charming, especially underneath. Cute little vase, love it. Then I have no idea what this is, guys. I've done a lot of research. It is not signed by the potter or whoever did this plate. It's glazed. It's got these wackadoo flamingos with childlike waves. So I'm assuming this is as if the person took a picture from Battery Park overlooking the water and Statue of Liberty across the way. And it says New York. And then it says postcard. These are like stamped on and then glazed. So it's pretty interesting. So I don't know if they're trying to make the plate like a postcard. I thought maybe the company who made it was postcard. I can't find anything on it and it's not signed by the artist. So I thought that was a really cool, unique find. And I think I only paid a couple of dollars for it. Last but not least, I got this awesome satin water lily bowl, satin glass. And I paid $5 and it does bear the mark fenton so that's cool they're being sold quite a bit um but you know still it's a really cool bowl to have from fenton so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy the haul if there's anything that you would like to purchase just let me know just email me at jolieflips at aol.com thank you guys so much for watching my video please subscribe and click the the bell so that you could be alerted to any new videos that come up Comment, like, share. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.